Okay, hello YouTube and uh, in this video I am trying to take this Philips apart because all these uh, very old vacuums are pretty dirty inside and this is not easy this is quite complicated vacuum and uh, we should see something very interesting uh, when it comes to the ducting of the exhaust air and uh, motor wise and uh, looks is there to help and I have no idea how this is going to go and I will speed up speed up this video when there is too much boring stuff so we have to first take our bag off we have this paper bag there Let's take it off and uh, well, then this pre-motor filter bag, what some people use as a bag, not recommended, but yes. So, let's start by moving this Let's see where I can find those screws. Now there is no screws for this, but I don't think that we have to remove this. So let it be like that. Now, first screws what we have are in there. So let's take them out. And I really hope that this goes well. Okay. And now this post motor microfilter. Okay, this has seen better days, but anyway. There is more screws there. And so far, these are same screws. All these four, what I have removed. Now, let's see if there is anything the bottom no so now the nervous moment we have to take these pedals off and uh, I don't know how this is going to go okay bit nervous. Okay, it came out and I gave this. Say it. So, hmm, that was not necessary, but anyway, let's take it. Okay, there is screws there. So, let's hope that we find more screws to open this vacuum. And uh, so on. want to lose this
Okay, uh, I found it. Uh, these screws were all what I needed to remove, like these. So, it comes part like this. And now, this is very complex. Hmm. And there is this overhead wiring. This is not what belongs to this vacuum, so we are going to uh, take it off. And oh, this comes like this. So, and there is so many wires. There is two, what I have missed. It's what is it going to do? This tube. Hmm. I don't know. But let's take these wires off from there. And I am not going to touch <laughs> these wires there. So what we are going to do is take this overhead connection off and leave this connection piece there so the, there is no sort there. Now, I really don't want to uh, use that powerhead anymore with this because it was so ugly that powerhead connection. So, a lot of wires there because there is uh, that speed control. And obviously, now I know why this is there. This tube. It is for cooling the circuit boards there. And now to the motor. Okay. Screw there. And, uh, so nervous moments. And uh, this is very long screw. And there is some form insulation there. Let's not forget that. And uh, my goal is to clean the motor. And there is one screw there. Hard to see. Very long. Is it off? Yes. Oh, this is another different screw, so I have to lay those down so I can remember this probably comes off. Yes. There is one screw. Like you can probably see in there. And code rewind is something what I am not going to touch because it can be pretty painful and you can actually mess it up in many cases. It can happen. And is it going to come off? Actually, does this. Okay, so that's <laughs> removed. So I really don't want to open that. So there is that one screw that is a bit tricky. Now there is a lot of sound insulation in this one. Come on. Yes. So, another big screw. And uh, let's flip this so you can see better. There we go, like that, and 
and uh, now there is this weird port for exhaust air. So exhaust air comes from there and then goes up. So is the motor free? Yes, it is. Come on, come on. Oh man. It's very well sealed. Okay, and uh, let's put that aside. And, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, now you can see there. This is where the suction comes from, and there, these, or this part is where the exhaust air goes. So there is uh, quite a lot of channeling there so this is very clean from there so let's put this to side and just this should be quite easy let's see I don't want to touch that wiring so let's take these clips out and maybe keep it upright so I know which orientation this belongs. Okay. So there is the motor and uh, hmm. okay. I put a bit mark there so I know this orientation. And carbon dust is what there is going to be. Okay, there is that. And uh, look at that water. That's so different from other old vacuums. <laughs> and uh, it actually looks very good. So. That's in very good condition. These two states, I believe. I believe it is two states. Now, what if we listen to that motor, how it sounds? Uh, when it is in free air. So where are those connectors? There, and this is a bit nervous moment. This is one of my ultimate favorite vacuums, so I don't want to ruin this. And here it comes. And this spring can be dangerous. Dangerous, or hard to say, but. I mean, this really doesn't need any work. Just this basket where the air circulates. It doesn't need. Well, and it is spring loaded that uh, motor mount. So that's one reason why this is super quiet. But how often you see this clean motor basket? where all the carbon dust and all the fine dust goes through. So, well, this is going to be dangerous. Okay, I am going to hold this from there, so, okay.
Fantastic. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So, I don't going to touch this. This is so clean. So let's put it back together and uh, now I stop talking. And does it work? So my legs. to wipe it quickly. So just a bit and <laughs> my finger is Bleeding and uh, well, yeah, not pretty sight, but anyway, this is what you are dealing with when you are dealing with old vacuums. I don't go crazy with this wiping. Oh man, look at that.
Okay. Oh, yes, it works. Okay, there it is. And uh, finally it is ready to go again. I just couldn't get it off my hair that how much dirt there is. And I really wanted to see how different this uh, is from the inside. And uh, yes, it is quite different. So. Uh, that channeling of exhaust air is very interesting and uh, super, super quiet. So, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I had to do some cuts because I put this together probably three times before I got it right. So, yes, there it is. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.